hello, my name is Julia Steinberger. I'm a professor here at the University of Lausanne and the Institute of Geography and Sustainability, Faculty of Geosciences and Environment. Um, I am the lucky recipient of an ERC Synergy grant uh, with two other colleagues who are in Spain. Uh, this ERC Synergy grant is called REAL, a post-growth deal. It's about post-growth economics. Uh, the amount of money we were luckily awarded is around 10 million euros. Um, the project was awarded in 2022, started in 2023, and going, is going to run for six years, so until 2029. In developing this project, we were really motivated by one central question, which is how do we make post-growth economies real? We, we, we are absolutely persuaded within the project team, based on our previous research, that we need to develop alternative economic models, systems, and bring them into existence quite fast. And these systems should not be dependent on growth. So they should be post-growth systems. That's one of the things that's very, um, that's, the, that's the, the real question for us. And the problem is that most economic models, most climate uh, mitigation models, pretty much all of them, um, all depend on growing economies. And the growing economies, uh, so that basically means that every way that we think about our social and environmental problems, we're based on growth. And we need to depart from that. So in terms of the objectives, we have some major objectives. We want to um, develop post-growth deals for the global north and the global south. And these post-growth deals are basically policy frameworks that people within either industrialized countries or developing emerging country contexts could take and make their own in terms of bringing policy proposals forward. So that's one big objective. Another big objective is making post-growth or degrowth climate mitigation models. So how can that would have things like north-south convergence? Because current climate mitigation models entrench international inequalities in a way that's really unjustified. Why should countries in the global north still consume twice or three times as much as countries in the global south. If there's no alternative to, right now, there's no alternative to these scenarios, and we really need to bring scenarios forward that allow us to have north-south convergence. When we went for our interview at the ERC, we said, uh, we tried to be very transparent and honest, and we said our goal is to develop the social science of the revolution. So that's what we would like, is we would like to have the, we would like to have the, the basis uh, that people can look to when they want to transform this, the, our current system, obviously peacefully, um, but we really need to overturn existing power structures. We need a lot more equality. It is where we are talking about revolutionary change. And so the question is, how do we do it? How do we bring it about? How do we um, work on it together and make it happen? Benefit for me as a researcher is being able to have these wonderful PhD students, postdocs uh, to work with. That's just the greatest chance in the world. These are amazing people and they have great ideas and it's just a joy to, to be able to work with them. For the University of Lausanne, I have to say, has been very helpful. Uh, also, your research in helping us plan the project has been very helpful. You have to plan in support. You really need that kind of support. Otherwise, I, I don't know how it would be possible. And uh, so we benefited a lot from that. We also benefited, um, especially at the interview phase. So these organizations prepared mock interviews for us. And so your research and the other organization in Spain, or each organized a mock interview for us, and those were essential uh, to helping us um, get the project. We actually had four mock interviews total. Um, and yeah, so that was, that was a lot of preparation, but it really, really helped us. And the whole, the whole process was really uh, very supportive.